Zuleika? You're... late. I... found a companion... along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleika. V, pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? Recent acquaintance, more like. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Fuck off! Please, sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? A uh, glass of water. Please. Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. The In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. You mean to say you let the man who killed your brother off the hook? Judge not and you will not be judged. Condemn not and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Whether it finds enemies or neighbors, God's love knows no bounds on Earth, and neither should ours. I'm not buying it, not at all. You believe in a merciful God, yet he allowed for your brother's murder. Let it happen. I grieved for Reuben. You cannot know how much. I wanted him back. But then God showed me his plan, and I found peace. The Lord knows I regret killing Reuben, but if not for him, I never would have found the path to God. We can't know the paths of divine providence. Do you believe in God, V? Sure, I believe. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, oh, no! I never agreed to anything like this! I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. What exactly is going on here, Josh? When the media learned I'd found God in prison, the next day my face was on the cover of every screen sheet. A brain dance studio took notice. They sent representatives to make me an offer. <laughs> Bloodsuckers. I was facing the electric chair. Now, with the studio's help. My death will be more than a state-sanctioned murder. They want to scroll a brain dance of Joshua being crucified. An execution like any other, just garbed in holy robes. Well, hang on. A BD studio changed to how a convict's gonna be executed. Doesn't the law say something about that? Corpse write the laws. Corpse choose the judges. All it takes is a sit down between the studio's CEO and a state's attorney. Officially, I'm here on a supervised one day furlough. But no law can prevent me from spending that with new acquaintances. Corruption's a sin too, isn't it? 
and corruption got you here. This is much bigger than the laws of man. With this brain dance, I'll take God's message to billions. Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother is home. Joshua Stevenson, we meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar, I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you! <laughs> we should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child, my son. Let's go back to the car. Just wish I could have talked to Gloria and you know, explained everything. You know, somehow I thought I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Who can blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. You really want to do this? Get nailed to a cross? Yes. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing will. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Wait up a sec, I wanna talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Need psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? 
Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Huh. Sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm. And one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. Grown curious how this will all end. In pain and profit, that's how. One's sacred, the other's insane. But who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before. years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't leave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. And you, get any say in all this? They forced the writers to go with a Christian gospel according to me. They had originally opted for John. Yes, that's, uh, important for... John's version is crude and over the top. The gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. What does he want to convey, exactly? That Christ was merciful and continues to die for the world's sins. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Yes, well, I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to it? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. <laughs> Great to have an outlet. Something to give you peace of mind. True peace of mind can only come through the spirit of divine grace. Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Back off me. And maybe you should fuck off, huh? You're not part of our group. Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel, 
No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. Look at your face. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Saw you still machistador! An explosion of shame! Fury! Crops. Really well played. What do you make of it all? The guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Don't think trouble. Don't even feel sorry for it. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? The corpse will continue to grow rich off his time, and the masses will live on. Where's Rebel Johnny? Seems to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real Rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nut job. Side. He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head, and you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Because if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists? Fuck. Kill me, please. Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you one night. It's your chance to win a one week getaway for two until Crystal Palace. The truth is, I died and rose again. Uh, so, what was that? A miracle? What's it make? Messiah? If you're looking for that to reduce to an early modern march. I got no fucking idea what it was. Neither do you. I'll tell you exactly what brought you. The crystal a clever palace. bit of corporate feel alive in the There's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo, our son. One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you are here. You dropped to your knees before you uh, I dropped. Pop him right between you. You're gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psychic. The possible consequences thereof. Really? I mean, are you already dead? Or alive till the last existing digi-ghost of you is shredded? You mean like am I gonna ascend to digi-heaven? Ascend to digi-hell is more likely. Yeah. There's life after death. Does Silverhand already live in the afterlife? And I'm talking to his animated epitaph? I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise! To me, I'm just that. For me, no never great, no happy wonder world. Just do the digital Attention, Charter Hill. You're weird as fuck today. Just kinda unreal. But reality beckons. Come on. We got places to trash. Yo, 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 y